how to install a power bridge. So for instance, if you have electric on the bottom of your wall, but you wanna put it on the top of your wall because you wanna put a TV up there and you don't want uh, you know, a power cable hanging down from the wall, we're gonna put a power bridge. This is something that you can do in your home. So you can buy these at Home Depot, Lowe's, Amazon, um, wherever, uh, their hardware store, but um, basically you wanna get what's called a power bridge. And uh, so this is one um, right here. So it's gonna have two female ends and one male end. What's gonna come with is basically one for end for the, that's gonna go on top here. That's where it's gonna go behind your TV on the wall. And then you have the male end, which is gonna go underneath, usually like underneath on a cabinet, uh, behind a cabinet or something. That's gonna go on the wall there. So, what you're usually gonna need for this job is you're gonna need one of these templates. If you don't have one, that's okay. Generally, the watt boxes, they'll usually come with one that's on the back of the box. And if they don't come with one, just use the, the box that it comes with and just trace the outline of the box. So for instance, grab yourself a pencil. <clears throat> you'll have the pencil, you'll put it on the wall, and then you'll just trace the box. And then you'll need to get yourself a drywall knife. You can get these at any hardware store, Home Depot, Lowe's. They're real inexpensive. Um, you don't have to buy a, a real expensive one. Just get like the $5 one. or so. They're sometimes even cheaper than that. So what I like to do first before I'm cutting any holes in the wall is I always like to check for studs. So I'll get the stud finder. And I'll get a couple pieces of tape. So I'll take my stud finder, put it on the wall here, and let's go across. Oh, there's my stud. And when I find my stud, I'll take my piece of tape, put it where I, the stud is. So I know there's a stud there. And I'll go across again. Oh, there's the other stud. So put my stud there. All right. So now I know that I don't want to put my box where the stud is because obviously I won't be able to drill into the stud. So. I don't have my template I'll put my template on the wall I want to go in between the stud here put that on the wall and then I'll go ahead and I'll just trace it my templates nice because it's got a a, um, a thing that uh, basically make it so you have it it's level and if you want a tip on where to put the your your uh, male end where it's gonna go on the wall basically what I like to do is I take a tape measure and I'll measure from the middle of my outlet to the bottom of the, the floor. So that's 15 inches for me. So then 15 inches, I'll put a mark where the middle is going to be of my new hole. And I'll use my template if I have one. And again, if you don't have a template, just use your box and trace the box. So. I got it in the middle there. I'm in between the studs, so I'm not gonna hit those. I've traced, I put my template on the wall, traced it out, so it's level. All right, once the template's on the wall, then I can go ahead and, and I can start cutting my hole with my draw, drywall knife. Go ahead and cut the hole. Just go slow at first. And then you always want to cut shallow because you're not sure if there's any wires, pipes, or anything behind the wall. So we'll cut shallow. like to kind of push the hole in there 
So, I got my hole down here. So my hole's cut there. Where my box is gonna end up going. And then, my mail in. So that'll go into there. But now I need to make the hole for up top that's gonna go behind where I'm gonna mount the TV. So, go ahead and put it up there. And basically what I like to do is I like to follow my hole. If I know that, hey, I'm good, there's not a stud there, I'm gonna go ahead and just follow my hole right up. And I'll put, I'm gonna put my TV right there. So my TV right there. I'll be able to take my template again. All right, make my template. Okay. And then once again, I'm gonna go ahead and we're just gonna cut, cut the template out. And remember, you always wanna cut shallow you might have you know different wires or something in the wall that you don't want to cut all right almost done So now I got my hole through there, got my hole through there. So now I got both my holes. So now I need to put my Romex through it. So let me set this down real quick. So you grab your Romex, you need to pick this up at the hardware store as well. A lot of times the power bridges will actually come with the Romex that you need in it. If it doesn't though, make sure that you get some. And basically it's three wires. You have a white, black, and then your ground. So what I like to do is kind of stretch it out, get enough to where I know I'm gonna be, have enough from the top to the bottom. And then I'm gonna go ahead and I run the wire through the wall. And sometimes I'll get lucky and I'll get to the other side. There we go. Bear with me. All right. So I got my wire here and I got my wire up here. Now I wanna go ahead and I cut that. So you wanna get some wire snips. Any, any ones will do. I always like to leave myself a little bit of uh, room on the bottom and then I like to pinch it up on the wall and that way it won't kind of slip inside the wall. And then up here, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna cut that, leave myself some room. And again, I'll pinch that again on the wall that way it won't kind of get tucked away in the wall. So, once I have my wire on the wall. Then I like to take my boxes and I'll bend back one of the portions that's not on the side of the, the tag. So, and you just bend it back. You don't want to snap it off. So I bend it back, it's still on. And then I'm gonna go ahead and take my wire and push it through the one that I bent back and then push the box inside the hole, take my Phillips head screwdriver and just tighten the screws until they're tight. On the top and the bottom. 
All right. So from there, I'm gonna take my Romex and I need to strip the wire back. So let's go ahead and strip the wire back. And then you will notice you have three wires. You have your hot, your ground. I'm gonna go ahead and strip those back. Wire strippers are terrible. So there we go. All right, so you got your wire stripped back, your ground. So then you're gonna take your male side. It's just like that. And then you're gonna take the wire nuts that it, usually the box Whichever uh, manufacturer that you bought the, the the power bridge from, they usually come with wire nuts. So they're gonna look like that. And then on the other side of the male end, you're gonna have your three wires, white, green, and black. Go ahead and take off, strip those wires, and then basically just match up your, 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 your wires, black to black, using your wire nut. We're gonna use your ground. And your white. Okay, so then once that's all together, I like to kind of push your extra wire back up in the wall push these wires back in there all right and it's gonna be flush with the wall and then it should have came with your set screws and generally those are flatheads let's get a flathead Okay. All right, so now that we have the male end, this is gonna end up plugging in to your hot socket that's down below somewhere on your wall. So then you should have received it's basically like an extension cord and you're going to end up plugging this end into that and then this other end into that side but don't do that yet before you do that we need to do the other end up there so let's go ahead and do that okay so now we're going to do the top end, the end that's gonna go behind the TV. So again, we're gonna take the box and we're gonna bend back one of the edges that's on the opposite side of your lever here that holds it onto the drywall. Remember, we're just gonna bend it back enough to where you're, you're not gonna pop it off. And the reason why is because it, holds, it helps hold that wire in there in the box. So once you do that, you go ahead and you fish it through and I always like to use, if the, whichever side that we're using, if it's coming up from the bottom, we're gonna put it through the bottom. All right, so we put that through, we put our box in, and we go ahead and we tighten our box. Okay, once we have our box tightened in there, now we need to basically strip our wire, our Romex, so let's go ahead and strip that. We have the same three wires. 
You have your black, white, and your ground. Let's go ahead and strip the, those. All right, you got your wires stripped. Okay, so once we've got the, um, the female end ready to go, I got my wire nets on there. Go ahead and match up the wires, black to black. White to white. Then your ground to ground. And greens to ground. All right, once my wires are on there, I like to go ahead and shuffle the wire back in into the wall, along with my other wires. And then I'll take my screwdriver Bottom, get the top. All right. And I'm all set. Okay, after you have your male end and then your female end all attached. Now we can go ahead and we can connect our our end down here. So we go ahead and we push this in. And then we'll push the other end into this. And then that's how you're gonna get the power from here to up there. So I always like to buy one of these. You can get them at Harbor Freight or Walmart or pretty much any store. And you can buy them for like five, ten bucks. But um, basically, it's a outlet tester, and um, you just plug it into your outlet, and it'll tell you whether or not if it's uh, good or not. So, like, if this outlet wasn't good, this would be lit up red, or these wouldn't be lit up at all. <clears throat> so, I want to go ahead, and I got my wire plugged into here now, so I know that this outlet is okay. So let's go ahead and test the outlet that we just went ahead and we uh, hooked up the wires. So we plug it in and boom, we're connected, we're good to go. So now we know that we're ready for our TV installation. And this is how you install a power bridge on your wall. If this helped you out, please like and subscribe.